Hi there. Now in this video I'm just going to be tackling part B of this question. If you want to check out part A where we had to find the equation of the line L1 then do go back and uh, see that video. Now I'll give you a moment to read this question through if you haven't uh, had a chance to do that and uh, when you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solution for part B. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Now, before we start, what I want to do is sketch a diagram because I think it, well, I know it definitely helps to be able to refer back to the diagram. So let's just draw our coordinate axes. So we've got x axis and y axis, and we've got our parabola c with equation y squared equals 16x, and that is going to look say something like this okay going through the origin and it's symmetrical about the x-axis so this is the curve c and its equation then is y squared equals 16x now we've got these points p and q okay so we'll just put the points p and q let's say that's the point p and this is the point q and we've got a line going through them, which is L1. We'll just mark that in there. Okay, so that's L1. Now we're told that the line L2 is perpendicular to the line L1 and passes through the focus of the parabola C. And where is this focus? Well, the focus of a parabola is, let's say, this point here. We normally call it S. Okay, and it's got coordinates A0. But what is A? Well, we get A from knowing that a parabola has the form y squared equals 4ax. So you can clearly see from here that A has to be 4. And so this point here is at 4, 0. So we've got a line going through here which is perpendicular to L1 and it's called L2. So I'll just mark that on as being L2. And we're being asked to find out the coordinates of the y coordinate that is of the point where this line L2 crosses the directrix. Now the directrix, let's just mark that on here, is a line back here which is at the point with x coordinate minus a let's just mark that on there that the point here is at minus a so we've established that a is 4 and so we know that at this point here r the x coordinate is negative 4 i've only just got to get the equation of this line l2 and once I've got that, just let x equal minus 4. And we should be able to find out what the y value is. So that's basically the way I'm going with this question. I'll just write it out in a bit more detail for you, though, as we go through it. So we've got the equation of the parabola. That's y squared equals 16x. And all parabolas then are identical in form to the form y squared equals 4ax. So we can see that from this a must be equal to 4. And that means that therefore the focus s, which has coordinates a0, is now 40. And with that, I should start to be able to work towards getting the equation of L2. I need to get its gradient though. And I know that it's perpendicular to L1, so from L1 I should be able to get the gradient and then use the perpendicular gradient rule to get L2. So from L1 I know that if I rearrange this, remember this is the equation for L1, rearrange it to make Y the subject, we can see that Y would be equal to 4X plus 8K squared and that is all divided by 3k. So if I divide each of the terms by 3k, then from this we can see that the gradient of L1 is 4 over 3k. 
So we can see then that therefore the gradient of L2 must be equal to the negative reciprocal of this. In other words, minus 3k over 4. So now that I've got that, I'm in a good position to get the equation of L2. So if we just come up here, we've got the equation of L2 is and what is it? Well, using the general form for the equation of a line, y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, using s as the coordinates for x1 and y1, then we've got y minus 0, okay, is equal to m, the gradient, minus 3k over 4, multiplied with x minus x1, x minus a, but we know that a was 4, so it's going to be minus 4. And we now know that at r, let's just put it in here, at r, we know that x is equal to minus 4. Okay, the directrix, remember, has the equation x equals minus a. So all I need to do is substitute this into here. Let's just call that equation 1 and we can say sub in 1, sub in 1. All right, and if we do that, then we have got y equals minus 3k over 4 multiplied with minus 4 minus another 4, so that's minus 8. And that means that therefore the y coordinate of r is going to be equal to 6k. And there we go.